A program that lets sheriff's deputies take on some of the functions of immigration agents drawing protests again tonight. For years, we have been telling you about the program known as 287G mm -hmm. and the Knox County Sheriff's Office taking part, a decision that has seen some pushback since the last sheriff decided to take part in this program. Live coverage for you now, WATE 6 on your side reporter Gabriella Pagan joining us from the lawn of the city county building, site of tonight's opposition vigil. Gabby. Thanks, you guys. This vigil just starting at 530. It's got about 10 minutes more to go. It's going on behind me right now. They're going over what 287 G would do if it stayed here in Knox County. The whole purpose of this vigil, this protest, whatever you want to call it, it's been called both, is to send a message to the sheriff, Sheriff Tom Spangler, that this is something that he has the chance to still deny for renewal. He does not he does not want to give comment just yet. We've been trying to get comment with the Knox County Sheriff's Office all day. It did not work out. I do want to point out they sent me this statement. KCSO works alongside all agencies to enforce our laws. Sheriff Spangler has said before the only time that 287 G will even be an issue is if an illegal immigrant commits a crime. They can expect to be arrested just as the same as anyone else. That is our job as law enforcement. Now tomorrow, several hundred of these postcards filled out by people here on this lawn, people all over the community, detailing on the back. On the front, it says no 287G, and on the back, you're able to detail why you don't want it in your county. I'm told that tomorrow afternoon, several hundred of these will be dropped off to the sheriff in opposition for renewal. I'm told this is to serve as a point of just saying, you have a chance to change this. He inherited this because Sheriff J.J., Excuse me, Sheriff J.J. Jones initially applied for this application, but Sheriff Tom Spangler did not. He has a chance to do away with it. That is what everyone on this lawn here wants to see happen. You're saying that what our research shows is that some of the people they have been pulling in have been pulled in for nothing that is anything near a violent offense and has to do with nothing more violent than, or nothing violent at all, but is essentially a traffic stop for potentially driving without a license or a tail light. That's what the kind of stuff that we're seeing people pulled in for, which are not criminal offenses. And that is truly just what these folks want to see is if 287G is to stay, which they don't want to stop pulling nonviolent offenders off the streets. Their argument here tonight is that the people who have been put in jail for this program have not committed violent crimes. And the sheriff before Spangler is saying that this program would take violent offenders off the streets. These folks saying the people they're taking off the streets are not violent. I can promise you we'll stay on top of this renewal application as it happens in June when it is up for renewal. But for now, reporting live at the City County Building, Gabriella Pagan, WATE, six on your side. All right, yeah, controversial subject to be sure. Gabby, thank you.